Hello, good afternoon to July 4th, Monday. Today I wish to talk about the Zoom scheduling. Um, Zoom meeting, if you open a new meeting, very easy. There's no need to talk about it, but about scheduling. Suppose that I want um, to have three days meeting with a client, but we don't do it um, so regularly. So it's not a recurring event, it's just a one-off scheduling for several days, it's not that easy. So first of all, we just said a topic name about that meetings, uh, because our our Zoom meeting um, on so and so, I don't know, and no need to be the time, because it's not a one-off issue. So we press recurring, then you're off. Then you will you will uh, be surprised. When can I enter the, the starting date and end date? And then I was a bit uh, worried about it. Uh, but now I discovered that Zoom actually delegating that scheduling to other software like Outlook, Google, or other calendars. Okay. Most often we use Outlook because the recipients, most of them are using Outlook in the office work. So I think using Outlook is good. So I save it and then Zoom we call up the Outlook. And we do the scheduling um, using Outlook facility. Do it because we're delegating the the scheduling to other uh, well-known software. Now the title is here and that is my Outlook office email and you send out the email address okay from your address book in Outlook. Optional maybe other people just for their reference or they can do it observer and it's not time you use the Outlook scheduling facility here. The credit maybe I start from uh, 12 and now maybe I start from tomorrow and the end day is uh, yeah the three days and the start time it's just the beginning time okay I mean start from X30 and the end day um, is uh, I'd expect to come to 4 p.m. and uh, and very important at the time zone, to check the time zone. And for me, I'm going to meet with a client, a Bangkok, Hanoi, Jakarta, that kind of uh, uh, time zone. Okay. So that would be okay. Don't press recurring. If the press recurring, it's mostly for those who are teachers uh, or who do some regular, regular monthly meeting, daily meeting and so on. For me, I don't need it. So don't be the curl recurring. For me, it's just a three days ad hoc meeting, um, but it's regular, not on databases. So from the 5th to the 8th of July, let's say from Tuesday to Friday, from this time to that time. And then we can plan it. Okay, just for a testing. So uh, initially I was very surprised that there's no mentioning the dates here Will, will the recipient know the days? Yeah, there is. Don't worry. I just for testing, I enter my Gmail account and see what happens. Then I send out. Then I wait for the Gmail. From July 5th to July 8th. With all the information. Okay. That is to say, the Outlook um, can read the ICS file. Either Outlook or Google Calendar can read it. So don't worry that uh, when you send out to the invitation, um, that assume that you don't mention about the date and time, but actually there is. And don't worry. And then you after reply, then in your Zoom, you will know about the meeting uh, that's confirmed. And in the meetings here, you can see that already I have a schedule here, and we can show whether to confirm or not. Okay, that's it. And um, okay, that's one of my um, 
experience sharing about Zoom and may talk to you about uh, similar tips and tricks in Zoom using in the near future. Okay, thank you for listening.